Hi and welcome back to another Road Back to India series. So last week I didn't post because I had a major, major visa fail. The thing is I wanted to make an appointment for a visa application because sometimes it can take really long before you can make the application and you really need an appointment. So if their schedule is full, you're out of luck. Therefore, it's really good to start way, 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 way in advance. Like now, I'm starting five months early. Yes, we're going to do this in phases. And today I wanted to fill in the form together with you. So last week I wanted to make the appointment, but it wasn't possible. And I actually wanted to post that video, but I was like, it's such a massive fail. On the other side, that's the way this works like there are many fails when applying for a visa especially an indian visa the first thing i did <laughs> is i found the website of the indian government through uh, bls india that's like the third party that's handling visa applications in the netherlands and uh, let's just fill in the form and see how far we can get today <laughs> i would highly recommend you if you're applying for any visa to check it out at least three months before you leave because sometimes it can just take a really long time and if you don't have a visa you don't get to go to that country they will just send you back so let's see netherlands there we go indian mission what's my indian mission uh oh i have to go to the hague really i don't want to go to the hague Nationality, Netherlands. Date of birth. Yes, people, I'm really 31. Horrible. And I'm going to be 32 on the 12th of May. Let me see. 1984. Yes, I'm an 80s girl. Email ID. Yeah, I'm not going to show you my personal email, but let me see. Expected date of arrival. No, no. No. Um, yeah. Visa type. Let me see. Tourist, 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 tourist visa. This. Will it blend? Ah, yes. Surname. Given name and passport. Have you ever changed your name? No, I actually didn't. Sex, female. Date of birth, town city of birth, religion, yes, Indians are very nosy people, <laughs> I'm okay with that, I have nothing to hide, what should I fill in? Visible identification marks, well I have a scar on my forehead, scar on forehead, educational, what am I? Sometimes the Indian terms are so confusing to me, but let's just roll with it, I guess professional. Did you acquire nationality by birth? Yes, naturalization. I wasn't born in the Netherlands. Also very important, for a lot of visa applications, you need your passport to be valid six months after you leave the country. That's why I'm saying like start early because if you need to replace your passport, you have enough time and you don't have to do it last minute. Save and continue because this is a long process. Victory for page one. Now. My address details, I'm not gonna show you those either. Now let's get into the good stuff. My father, you can know his first name. Applicant's marital status. Single, I guess. <laughs> there are no <laughs> there are no other options. Sorry, Stefan. Uh, profession. What is my profession? Save and continue. Yeah, we just went to the next level. Awesome, tourist visa, places likely to be visited, All right, Delhi, um, what's the other one, Agra, Kochi, Mumbai, for sure, Jaipur, number of entries, single entry, purpose of visit, tourism, Tourism. Have you ever visited India before? Yes, I actually did. Okay, reference name. I need a reference name in India, really? Oh, I know what this is. Like, um, sometimes if you need this, you can just fill in the name of your hostel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in, um, I guess, Emmanuel Homestay. So if you need an address or a reference uh, of a local, just usually fill in the details of your hotel or a hostel or if you really have like a local contact, you can ask them. Save and continue to directly proceed without photo. Let's just proceed without photo upload. Save and continue. Next level! High five! Bam! 
The applicant is requested to verify the particulars filled in the application form. Press OK to proceed for final registration or... No. Okay, let's do this. We've applied for an Indian visa! On pressing print form, you will get the application in PDF which can be printed or saved as per your requirement if your printer is not ready, yada yada. Mm. Ah, let's take another screenshot of this print form. All right, so I think the next thing I have to do is make an appointment and, you know, apply, like actually apply for the visa. We're going to save that for next week's episode because I think this one's already long enough, but yeah, I've, I've actually applied for an Indian visa. We are for sure going back. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up. I hope it was useful if you also want to apply for an Indian visa or any other visa if you're going to travel. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button because I'm going back to India and I would love to take you with me if you wanna. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.